Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Thank you so much for the recent comments about all of the funerals that I had to attend. I only attended uh, one, but then I had to watch my grandson for my son-in-law and daughter to go to a separate one. And while I don't feel like I was just, you know, overly, incredibly impacted by the other deaths, it, it was very sobering, and I'm very sorry for my cousin. Uh, again, that situation where she's a first cousin and her siblings, so I should say they, they're first cousins through my mother and my mother's sister. And then my uh, mother's sister, so that would be my aunt, and her husband. So th those cousins were on his side of the family. So they weren't my first cousins, but my heart just goes out to my uncle and... They, they lost a really good man. So anyway, thank you so much for your, your really kind comments. Um, we will be fi finishing up Dolly. I'm just, I, I was away from the house today and um, I'm a little bit late on a couple of custom journals because of being gone all day Saturday. Uh, but it, I'm working on everything. All of the Patreon mail did go out. Uh, these, I wanted to show you these. So I love to make zines and I started calling them image zines. I made, the, if you go to my website, a bit of birdsong.com, in the side column, you will see a link to a free year of image zines or e zines or zines. I can't remember what I've got written there. But I decided for a year to make a, a zine every couple of months and publish it uh, for free. Now these, I'm, I've started it up again for my uh, patrons, or they call it an audience now. So you all are my audience in Patreon. And I'm very grateful for everybody who's there, but I, I offer them there as a digital download. And then uh, the highest level gets a printed copy of every zine. I'm probably gonna put these in my coffee shop, but let's look at them real quick. So they're just basically, <laughs> Um, what? Okay, let's look at this one first because this one is printed front and back. They're they're really just little publications with um, images. They're delightful to look at. Zines in general, I love zines, and I have uh, maybe five or six that I've bought from different places. You can cut out of these, or you can bind it like a book, like this one is, to keep intact and keep it almost like a um, you know, like a book on your shelf. So there are just little personal notes in there, beautiful old ephemera. There are a lot of the images from the Burr Macintosh catalog that I showed a few months back. And then there's the center, it's just an ephemera page. And Carolyn, there are those adorable little roses that you did. I thought they would be so pretty on this page. So thanks for letting me use those and I'll be mailing you a copy of this for letting me do that. I would love to get to the point where I am sharing artwork that people do. If you want to submit something to have printed in this, anything I use um, from, from someone out there, they will get a free copy of the zine. But again, it's just sort of um, little, little anecdotal things and maybe a few informational things. Oh wait, what did I do? I got them out of order a little bit, I think. Yeah, I folded this one out of order. Oh, you know what? I printed the right things, but I really should have turned this. Well, that's okay. I wanted to show you an example of what one looks like if you print front and back. And it they're not, it's not really a huge emergency that this is out of order. I had just put the number two on the second page. And I thought about numbering, but that can get really complicated. So then the way I printed this one, it's all the same pages. And there you can see that second in, in place. I printed these leaving the blank space on the back so that it can be turned into a junk journal or like a glue book or something. And I like to, to do, I like to use them that way. I like to have one like this to keep. And sometimes I just print one page if there's one image I want. Anyway, I'm rambling. 
So I thought what I would do after being away from the house all day is sit down with just some, um, some watercolor, watercolors here. And Brandy, you sent me this and I love it. I, I am so crazy about this little palette. And I think you can take the individual pans out and put different ones in. But I'm still loving these so much. Let me change this water. Okay, I use um, file folders a lot for making journals. So I often have these uh, off cuts or whatever. And one of the things I love to do with these is just cut um, tags out. And they don't have to be, see, you could even leave this fun notch here. They don't have to be perfect. I don't take these to the uh, paper cutter. I like for them to feel just kind of eclectic or organic or whatever, a little off. <laughs> and um, I thought I would just kind of splotch some up and get them ready for, uh, for using. And one of the things I love to use them for they're just great to go in journals as um, little journaling spots, but I like to punch holes, put grommets in, and use them for uh, for tags for my journals. So if a journal, if I decide to name it, if it has a theme or whatever, and I give it a name, then I have tags that are ready to go. And that's a lot of fun. So let's turn these over. And it won't take these long to dry because you see putting them on the paper like that, it ends up soaking up a lot of that, that extra paint. I feel like I haven't been here much at all lately. I've been working and I've done a lot of work out here in the workshop. It continues to get more and more um, organized, especially since I'm focusing so much now on making custom journals. And I probably need to go in there and give myself a couple of extra days to get them out. I think I have listed on there that they ship in three to four days, which is normally very doable. But then with a week like last week, I feel like I'm behind. So I don't know. I'm sure you know what, I'm, what I mean. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I've, I've been busy. Even though I haven't been here, I feel like I've been running to get things done and, you know, to just to, to stay just like a centimeter ahead of the game. And I don't really even feel like I'm doing that sometimes. But I love the workshop. I love the way it is looking and the way it's organized. Every time I clean up out here, I'm getting more and more organized. So, I like using um, stamps too. What color is that? Oh, that's pretty blue. So you can see I'm not doing anything precise or fancy. Just trying to grunge up these cards a little bit so they'll be ready to use. I can write the names of the journals or use these for journaling cards or put them in journals that are going out, especially ones that, you know, extra ephemera has been ordered. Here we've needed rain for weeks and I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow on Halloween and so many people and so many people want to take their kids out and I'm afraid it's going to mess it up for a lot of people. I'm still planning to have candy and we'll just greet whoever comes to the door. That's pretty. So while it's still damp, I do like to uh, stamp 
because that ink spreads just the right amount. And you can see those are simple, but they're gonna be really pretty. And that file folder material really soaks up the water 